Framework 16 inch keyboard customizations. Let's jump in. Hey y'all, my name is Jay Scar, and today we're gonna jump into the different options that you have to customize your Framework 16 inch laptop. Once you pull these two tabs on the side, you can pull down and then also pull down the trackpad and just put those off to the sides for now. Everything else is magnetized down with these pogo pins. You're supposed to be able to put your fingernail underneath and then lift up. These are very strong magnets. So be careful when you're getting your fingers up underneath there. They like to snap back. So we're going to reposition this to the center of the keyboard. And while I love my number pad, I want to go through and I finally ordered a second set of each one of these so we can go through and customize them. So we're going to go through and show you what each one of them look like today. So this is just the standard black spacers that you can go through and pick up. They're fairly inexpensive on the framework site. The standard black costs $10 per side. So I'm going to go grab my 3D printed cases, which by the way, this was an awesome print off from somebody on principle. I'm going to make sure to drop a link down below with the designer name from Enigma on principles. So slapping both of these both into place looks pretty clean. Not a lot of frills to it, but it works. Everything slides into place fairly easily. And then to be able to lock this all in place, just make sure everything's put into all the way in because there's like little notches in the very top corner, which we'll go through and show here. Making sure it's all the way pushed up, which is great. Just make sure it's seated correctly because Again, if you don't have it all the way up there, there's a little notch that this is supposed to be able to go into. You can see it right here. So you put it into the top, and then you have it snap down into place, just like such. So after that, you can replace the board. Let's put this up on there. Slide our aluminum pieces back into place. And once that's all said and done, you can then lock it all by pressing in your two tabs on the one on the left and one on the right. So, pretty clean setup. Let's do our next set. So, the next one that we're going to go through and do is specifically called the color shift from Framework Laptop for the 16 spacer. This is a $20 per side to go through and set these up. So, I'm going to pull out the black ones and put them away for now. Like I said, these are super strong magnets, so it takes some time. Put those into place. They're protected at this point and set those off to the side. So the next set is this color shift. We already have one from our pre-order. Again, we also have that notch in the top, so make sure that you match it up in the top. Snap it into place. Now, when I originally picked these up, I thought these were like backlit, and this is just like a, a weird color shift or luminescent coating that's on this. So it's just a piece of plastic that is really shiny. Kind of fun, to my, in my opinion. So also make sure that both sides of that notch is put up in place. You can see it just slid up a little bit more there, which is great. After that's done, go grab your trackpad again. I'm just going to continue to push it here in the center, and then our two aluminum side pieces snap right into place. They slide into place, lock it in, and you're good to go. That's what the color shift looks like. When you go through and tilt the laptop, it basically reacts to any other light that's around, which is really a cool look. So with that, let's go ahead and pull those off. Also put them into a, another case and go with our next set. So we're gonna do the same setup again. Again, get your fingernails under, underneath there. Again, those magnets are strong. Pull them off. And after we've gone through and done this, put it in place. The last set that I wanted to pick up, since we pulled off the number pad, we want to pull out the Framework Laptop 16 inch LED matrix. And these go for $49 a pop. These are a module that's a 34 by 9 grid of LEDs and it's built on the firmware of the Raspberry Pi 2040 microcontroller 
and interface API to make it easy to personalize and create your own features according to their tech or to the website. So the idea is that you're able to like track your battery life levels, set a timer, flashing notifications, scrolling text, etc. Right now, as we go through and get everything set up in place, I haven't seen, seen many people go through and talk about this yet. So I wanted to pick them up. I want to see what it can go through and do on the Linux side of the house because that's my main OS. I'm running Fedora. I am dual booting this machine on a the small NVMe with Windows to do some testing side by side. But everything locks in place. Now when you power on, by default, it loads up a couple different things. So it randomizes each time that you boot the machine or shut it down. Unless you program it to do something else, uh, they're going to stay off when you have your machine powered on. It's just on the reboot and the shutdown time frame. So, along with that, let's jump into this next section here and show you where you can go find more information out about how to go through and program these. So, from there, let's change the sheet scene. So, happy with the number pad. Got my other color shift here in these 3D printed protectors. And then also just the black ones here in this other case. And so I'm probably going to be rocking the LEDs for a while. You can go to the framework site specifically. You can go down to the different customization or and then scroll down to where you can actually see the LED matrix side of the house, get more information. You can also go to the customize, go down to 16 inch, and then you can actually see underneath the support tab, scrolling down, there's actually an LED programmer. Now, in my early tests thus far, this hasn't been working for me. So if you have a framework 16 inch, and it's working for you, let me know. Otherwise, more content on this in the future. Make sure to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.